In front of me is Grigor Vashadze. He is a Georgian politician. Uh, he, he used to uh, hold the position of the Minister of Foreign Affairs under Mikhail Saakashvili leadership, and now he is a presidential candidate. He is representing the opposition. Mr. Vashadze, thank you for the interview and welcome on the program. Thank you very much. A very interesting fact about you is that you, for a number of years, uh, held dual citizenship, Russian and Georgian, uh, but you renounced it in 2008. Could you tell more why you decided to uh, give up your Russian citizenship? Do you know, uh, I used to have uh, one passport, just Russian passport, because I was, I, was, um, uh, I was residing in Moscow and I had been residing there uh, from 1976 uh, to 1993. Uh, and uh, when the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, I was in the United States of America. I don't remember, for five or six months. And uh, when I came back, I discovered that I'm a Russian citizen because Soviet Union didn't exist. Then we returned back to Georgia in 2004 and I, I, I got my Georgian citizenship in 2005 or four. Anyway, four or five, uh, end of 2004 or beginning of 2005. And then af uh, after, after, uh, after, after war, Russian-Georgian war, I sent my passport to Comrade Medvedev and I said that I am renouncing my Russian citizenship because I cannot tolerate attitude of Kremlin towards independence of my country of, and of my nation. It took 11 months for Kremlin to decide if they would like me <laughs> to strip me of my Russian citizenship, but eventually they did. And I'm I am now holder of just one passport, of Georgian passport. Mr. Vashadze, they're going to be the second round of the presidential yes. elections in Georgia, and as a result of the first round, you got around 38% of voters' support, and uh, the difference between you and your major opponent is very, very insignificant. Are you happy with the results? Uh, do you know, uh, this is official version of so-called government and so-called Georgian dream. In reality, I won the first round. Bec quite frankly, I would not speculate uh, on how much actually, what percentage actually so-called Georgian dream fixed at this election, at these elections. But um, the, the most modest estimate would be 15%, something like this. Because Salome Zurabishvili, respectfully, she's nobody, absolutely nobody. It's out of question that 38% of Georgians did vote for her. And uh, if, you, if you just imagine the amount of money spent by so-called Georgian dream, upon those elections. So we have, unfortunately, to rely on the official data and Good. I would like to ask to analyze these data because do you think it's a sign, these results, which were quite unexpected for uh, the ruling party, these results are, are a sign of uh, your popularity among Georgian citizens or it's a sign of general wariness of uh, the ruling party? Basically all of this, combination of all those reasons. Because when on July the 20th uh, of this year, eight of us, eight of us, one of them is sitting next, <laughs> next to me here, eight of us uh, jumped into two cars and we started our 43,000 kilometer long journey around Georgia. And we said right, right <laughs> at the start that we're going to win this election. Second is that uh, everybody knew, knew me back from my five years as, as the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Georgia. 
and they knew that I've done a lot of things for this country. That I, 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 <coughs> I designed and I brought to the successful end campaign of non-recognition of our occupied regions. 58 states, uh, we've established, uh, established diplomatic relations with 58 states we didn't have diplomatic relations previously with. I have signed a lot of important treaties for my country, including visa facilitation without that uh, agreement with the European Union, Schengen Zone, European Union. We could be having visa liberalization now. And I can go on. So they knew me and my reputation. And the third reason is that Georgian citizen is outraged. Georgian citizen is very angry. Georgian citizen hates Georgian, a so-called Georgian dream because Georgian citizen has not been living so bad since 2004 and they are not accustomed to live and being submerged into corruption, crime, economic stagnation, total absence of working places. 150,000 kids are living in hunger not port, in hunger. They are going to bed hungry. Every third is unemployed in this country. One, close to one million left this country, uh, have, uh, has left this country since 2012. You are supported by former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili. He is one of your ardent supporters. Uh, do you think in the second round it's going to be an advantage or a disadvantage? Everybody knows in Georgia that I'm absolutely independent. And I was independent when I was a member of, uh, of, of the cabinet from 2008 to 2012. I was not even a member of, of, of the party. I absolutely refused to to enter, enter and become the member of this party because uh, I had extreme amount of problems with, uh, with party's internal policy. And I've been expressing that. As with, uh, as with uh, President Saakashvili, I, I will sum up my attitude to him. He's my friend. As each and every sounded lucid Georgian citizen, I'm thankful to him that he has transformed geographical uh, geographical uh, area into a modern state he shall have a right to live in georgia so he shall get back his georgian citizenship if there are questions which our law enforcing agencies or our justice system has or have excuse me to ask him he shall answer those questions and if he is going to have political future or not, that's up to Georgian nation to decide. That's, that's so if you become president, you are going to return uh, his e Georgian citizenship? Exactly. I will. Are you going to pardon him? Sir, yes, I will. But uh, I am not going to pardon only him. I am going to pardon all political prisoners. And please don't omit this because some television channels in Georgia they are cutting the second part of this phrase out. Say it, I will cut. I, of course he will not. Uh, I will pardon President Saakashvili, I will pardon all political prisoners, I will pardon all women, all women who did not commit uh, uh, something, so, something beyond imagination and who have kids outside, outside prison. I'm going to do that extremely quickly, in maybe first two or three months, not maybe, two, first two or three months, because I know what's going on in prisons. As a, lawyer, I, as a lawyer, I want the justice to prevail, and justice shall prevail because the third president of Georgia shall have right to live here. If, if he's going to use this right or not, it's up to him. Again, it's up to him. His political future is up to Georgian people, Georgian citizens. But uh, to reside here in his small ha house in Kvareli, absolutely, we, we owe to him that much. You, you mentioned that uh, you are friends with Saakashvili. Yes. Uh, but he is absolutely remarkable uh, because uh, he sometimes resorts to sharp criticism of his 
former allies, do you think that a potential conflict between you and him, if you of course become president, uh, is a workable scenario? You know, uh, it, is, it is a strange question because quite frankly I'm not I've never been choosing my friends according to their political beliefs. Uh, he's but you both have political interests, that's what I... Yes, imagine. he's my friend and if, uh, if, uh, if there is a contradiction between my beliefs and his beliefs, I'll try my best to retain our friendship, but quite possibly our political paths will uh, part away. Uh, I would not I would not start screaming, <laughs> screaming like some of uh, some of his pre other friends, uh, to TV correspondents that Misha Saakashvili is the only one to be blamed for the mistakes, that Misha Saakashvili is is dictator. Misha Saakashvili uh, was an obstacle when those guys were doing all the job to transform Georgia into mod it's ridiculous. He is not a dictator. He's a true he, 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 he absolutely he was. Which dictator ever staged peaceful transition of power? Mr. Vashadze, you're absolutely right uh, with your great example of uh, Mr. Sakshvili being a true democrat that he ensured peaceful transition of power. It's out of question and I think it's one of the fundamental things uh, for Georgia to uh, preserve this democratic tra uh, tradition, mm -hmm. but uh, his critics say that uh, when in power he was extremely violent with his political opponents, that he, he put them in prison, that were, there were numerous violations of human rights, uh, there was a demonstration, a peaceful demonstration in 2007, and he used some uh, methods to uh, disseminate this uh, demonstration. So you know, what could you answer to this yeah. criticism? When we're speaking about mistakes, we shall differ mistakes from dictatorship. Because to start, if, if you would like to remember 2007, yes, it was a very sad occasion in our history, but again, it, Nobody was dispersing the, this, this uh, crowd, incredibly large crowd, in front of the parliament and they had constitutional right uh, for, for assembly, they had constitutional right to express their opinion and for free speech. Mm -hmm. I can tell you from my standpoint, raid, that raid which was exercised uh, against and inside TV Medi, that was incredible mistake political mistake, incredible political mistake. And uh, I think that uh, in many ways uh, it was the beginning of the end. And my answer uh, about Misha, I can tell you, uh, tell you with 100% certainty that he is too young to be written off. But as each and every person who actually did spend five or six years in immigration, uh, he will have to accustom to this country from the scratch because this country has, has changed significantly. What do you mean under uh, change? Uh, is Georgia uh, still a democracy? It is. It has become more democratic uh, since uh, Mr. Saakashvili left. left. So, well, no, less democratic. It, it became less democratic because uh, if, you, if you check those facts of uh, election fixing, if you, <coughs> if you go through our TV market and discover that there is only basically one important independent TV uh, station, Rustavitu, if you go through um, internet, uh, internet information hubs and you discover that basically nearly 90 Nine percent of them are controlled by so-called Georgian Dream by Ivanishvili through all this. Uh, of course, it's less democratic, but the major freedoms are here. We ha we we have and and Ivanishvili with his so-called Georgian Dream is chickenpox. Do you know what is chickenpox? 
Ветрянка. Ветрянка, которым в детстве болеют, и вот переболеешь, and after three, first three days you're having temperatures over 40 or 41. And then after three days, after three days you are quickly recovering. So we are having, Ivanishvili is a chicken pox. Mr. Vashadze, uh, yes. returning to the presidential elections, mm. uh, so according to the uh, current Georgian constitution, uh, the role of the president is quite symbolic. So uh, it has effectively no executive powers. Mm. Why are these elections important for you personally and for the country? Yes, you, you would like to ask me why these elections were so heated. It, it, sure. it's, it's very, very correct and timely answer because it's no not only presidential elections but it also uh, and most importantly it's referendum on the future of our country everybody understands that when we are winning not if when we are winning those elections the, we are winning the referendum uh, on our country and we are bringing closer snap parliamentary elections everybody understands that too second it's utter nonsense that president of Georgia is not going to have enough powers. Excuse me, Supreme Commander of, of Armed Forces. But uh, as far as I know, it's a good point, but as far as I know, you cannot execute even this function without the consent of the uh, as, as Cardinal Richelieu, parliament you, or government. Yes, as Cardinal Richelieu used to say, patience. Okay. <laughs> uh, Supreme Commander, uh, the, the chief representative of country in international relations, power of veto, power to approve prime minister, and uh, uh, power of pardon, and a lot of others, but uh, most important. And don't forget, please, there is a spirit of constitution and there is a letter of constitution. Spirit of constitution means political process, and nobody can curb me to be head of the political process. I can see any government, not only of so-called Georgian dream, but any government, when I ask 50 or 100,000 my citizens to go out in the street and join my protest for something, who is going to curb that right? And just imagine yourself uh, what kind of demonstration we are going to stage. So, so-called Georgian dream is very, very right when they are fighting a deadly fight for this post, but they lost that fight. Uh, you mentioned a very interesting fact that you think that these are not just presidential elections. This is a referendum about the future of the country. Uh, now, in the second round, uh, you and your opponent, uh, Mrs. Zurabishvili, are left. Uh, if we do not focus on who supports whom, you are supported by Mikhail Saakashvili and his political party, whereas Zurubishvili is supported by Ivanishvili and Georgian Dream. What are the ideological differences between you and your opponent? I think that you agree on the Western path, on the European path for Georgia, on NATO accession. So I am supported by, I am supported, trust me, by well over 40% of Georgian citizens. This is the most important thing for me. When it comes to differences, I will tell you what are the differences. So-called Georgian dream and their candidate, Companiero uh, Zurabishvili, they think that everything is wonderful in Georgia. They think that the economic situation, she, she just said that, that the economic situation is not that bad as you're describing it, not to me, to, 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 to the audience or to journalists. Ivanish really thinks that everything was perfect. I mean, for five years he gave a paradise to Georgian citizens. And then suddenly, suddenly he jumped out and said that I just discovered that one million are living in poverty when everybody got those outrageous reports from World Bank, the United Nations and UNICEF. They are scared to death because they understand Georgian citizens are deprived of all achievements, economic achievements, which, uh, which the government gave to them from 2004 to 2012 country is submerging into extreme poverty. This is the difference. We are screaming that we shall abolish in our budget all the luxuries, 
all those stupid expenses which are uh, made just to win elections, financing all these uh, all these uh, uh, soccer programs and uh, I don't know baseball team and Georgian ice hockey uh, team. Can you imagine uh, the idiocy of of, of this, uh, where Ukrainian and Bulgarian uh, hockey players are playing in the fourth or fifth uh, league? I, I don't, don't don't remember where. And we shall canalize all this money to healthcare, to social uh, assistance, uh, to education and to defense. Otherwise, we're going to disappear as a nation. Our demography is cut catastrophic. That's w what we differ on. And those, excuse me, my Georgian, those idiots are proposing to this country uh, marijuana plantations as, as a locomotion for our economy. In, in, in the 21st century, in an epoch of a knowledge economy, economy of knowledge, when, when we shall jump on the train which is going to the 22nd century, otherwise we are going to, 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 to become uh, to, for forever uh, losers. They are calling our civil society, our non-governmental organizations, fascists. Those idiots do not even know the meaning of this word. And do you know who is doing this? Himanishvili, I know, but yeah. he said that it was not a correct uh, word to, uh, so to what use. So what was it? Nazi? <laughs> no, 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 no. no? He, 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 yes. he acknowledged that it, 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 was not, it was the wrong thing to do. That's what I want to No, ask. but he said what he's thinking. I don't care about his excuses and his pardons. I, I do not, because they said that they're going to bang opposition on the head. The Speaker of, uh, Speaker of Parliament, they have this clockwork orange, you know, as a uh, Speaker of Parliament, who said that he, he's going to bang opposition on the head. I'm very happy that he got bang on the head after the first tour. You have another major difference. I, I don't uh, want to talk about your difference, your difference with Ivanishvili, but we're talking about your yes. difference with your uh, opponent. Uh, and it's, of course, your absolutely different backgrounds. You have a lot in common because uh, Mrs. Zurubishvili used to uh, hold the position of, of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, also Saakashvili leadership. She was before you, uh, but she is a French career diplomat. She was born in France and you are a Soviet career diplomat. Do you have problems with this? I do not have any problems with that because uh, uh, because a person who was born in uh, Bern in uh, born, excuse me, in 1958 in Tbilisi, he couldn't be anything else. So I, I was a Soviet diplomat and uh, I can tell, tell you I am very proud of it because I participated in negotiations which uh, made our life safer. Prohibition of chemical weapons and pro prohibition of nuclear te tests. Uh, and I went through a fantastic school and I don't know uh, I don't know what are professional qualifications of Zura Bishvili uh, but excuse me you but I shall repeat uh, these words but when people are saying in the street that I am the best minister for foreign affairs uh, in, in, in our history, uh, I'm very proud of it. So-called Georgian Dream and Ivanishvili's TV stations, they try to play on this, that I'm a KGB agent, I'm Russian C Russia's influence agent, I'm, uh, I'm this, I'm that. It didn't work at all. If you win the elections, uh, what reaction on the part of the Russian government do you expect? I spent five years of my life fighting with, with Russia uh, and I succeeded and left Russia in a shameful company of Venezuela, Syria, uh, uh, Nicaragua and Nauru. Are you, and, and we are still with, uh, are you going to meet with Putin to discuss uh, the uh, No, I'm not going uh, to the, meet. The, the future of the occupied territories. No, no, because, because I, 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 I don't know what the reaction of Kremlin is going to be. I mean, we are speaking about your country, your Russian, yes? The Georgia, by its uh, her independence, uh, took strategic role away from Russia in Southern Caucasus. 
and Russia is fighting to return that back. But trouble is that two occupied regions, they are not solving Russian problem at all. They are suitcases without a handle, you know, you can throw them away uh, because it's a shame <laughs> and you cannot keep them because you do not need it. You are just wasting your money upon that. This is what's happening. I don't know what the Kremlin reaction is going to be and quite frankly I don't care. Who is your role model among present or past world leaders? George Marshall. And why? Because this is the man who won the Second World War. Don't believe that the Soviet Union could win this war without the United States military and logistical assistance. You are, uh, you are young and they will be telling to you that we could win this war alone. Forget about it. Mr. Vashadze, yes. I would like to thank you for the interview and for your time. Thank you very much. Thank it, you. Was, it was a pleasure to be with you.